Hi. Um, from time to time, I'm going to be doing some equipment reviews, and I thought the, for the first one, I'd do a uh, type of rubber that I'm most familiar with, type I've used quite a bit. It's TSP Curl PH. Um, thinking of a title for this video, I thought I'd call it Long Pips Light. The thinking is that I've used several different types of long pips. Uh, curl pH is completely different in that it um, the pips are stiff, hard, uh, they are long, they uh, maintain a lot of the characteristics of long pips. I've got it right there. So at first glance they're not going to look much different than any other long pips. Players you play against are going to still uh, be concerned that you're using long pips, be, need to be aware of it, but they play very differently. In fact, I use them on my forehand and can actually hit with them in much the same way you would hit with short pips. If I hit hard enough, the ball seems to act almost like a short pips rubber. If you hit a little less, add a little more friction, it starts slowing the ball down, behaves a little bit more like long pips. So in fact, in a lot of ways, it could be considered almost like a medium pips rubber. And um, I, used, I st got started using this uh, several years ago and had some initial success with it and have uh, gone back and forth and I'm back with it now. The difference being when I first started with it, I used it with no sponge and found it was extremely disruptive. There were players that I was playing that if I was using uh, curl pH and I would hit it, the next shot that they would make would almost inevitably go into the net. Uh, I'm talking about intermediate level players, but even some better players would, would struggle um, because you don't run into a lot of long pips hitters. Uh, the version of it now I'm using, I went to 0.5 sponge on a faster blade. That was um, feeling like with the faster carbon racket that no sponge might just not really work well. And uh, happy to report the minimal amount of sponge on the long pips is actually uh, something I'm really, really comfortable with. Basically, it gives me the same shot I've always had, maybe just a little bit faster. And um, you don't have to use it on your forehand, although I've found it fairly easy to do that. You, if you're coming from short pips, you're gonna be changing your racket angle. Um, it'll, it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get it, uh, TSP Curl PH has extreme control. You'd be surprised how easily it is to keep the ball on the table. It's not going to be as difficult to handle as other long pips where the pips tend to bend much easier. So uh, some people have compared it to almost like a hard bat type of hit, but it's not exactly like that either. Uh, I can tell you from going from, uh, sometimes I'll play hard bat and going from these long pips to hard bat, it's, it's not exactly the same, although I, I can certainly uh, see how that comparison could be there. But like I said, I use some sponge, which does, if you're using it on a faster racket, that, that helps a lot. I'm not really familiar with, if you go into a much thicker sponge, uh, exactly what that's going to do for you, but uh, you, can't, you don't have to use it on your forehand. Um, in fact, I don't always use it on my forehand since I twiddle the racket. Occasionally I'll return serves with it, I can chop with it, uh, flip it, and slow down. The, uh, somebody's really backed off the table, I can flip it around and uh, do a drop shot easier with it than I can the smooth rubber that's on my other side. Um, so TSP Curl PH is something I personally don't know anybody else other than myself that's using it. The person that initially introduced it to me had tried it, didn't like it. It's not something that maybe traditional long pips players will like, but it is something that's so unique, so different that if it suits your game, it can work really, really well. So uh, that's my first equipment review. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll watch again next time. Thank you.